Welcome to Bloodbath and Beyond. Today we review Late Night Double Feature. Let's get nasty. Late Night Double Feature is an anthology film consisting of two short movies and a rapper. The rapper is directed by Navin Ramis Warren and takes place in the studio of the filming of Dr. Nasty's Cavalcade of Horror. He's an Elvira-like character who's a drunk and just takes advantage of the interns and everyone around him. The first short, Dinner for Monsters, directed by Zachary Ramelin, is about rich entrepreneurs who are hosting a dinner party. They hire a private chef to cook them a meal of human flesh. The second short, Slit, directed by Torin Langen, is about a man who is paid to cut people. Unfortunately, one of his clients wants a little more than light cutting. What do we like about this movie, guys? I liked the style of it. I thought it was really well done, and the rapper really worked with the movies. I liked the little fake trailers, and even like the graphics, including the intro. Yeah, yeah, that was phenomenal. I mean, we all remember those late night, sometimes black and white, with these creepy, like Elvira, or other like random ones on local cable channels so this was a nice send up to those types of things let's talk about the first short a little so this was dinner for monsters i thought it had some nice gore some nice effects were done it was practical yep which was very nice it was an interesting story i liked the role of the entrepreneur he's just kind of like a pompous dick and i think he did it very well. This guy definitely seemed like the type of person who would require this kind of thing because he's experienced the world. On the other end of the scale, I thought the chef was awesome. Like his acting was really well done and like I believed his character and I believed the situations that he was in and how he responded to them. A lot of scenes with the chef with the uh, wealthy entrepreneurs was good because they had this tension that kept growing and I think they did a really good job of building up to finally when you see that he's they're going to cook human, right? I mean, we knew it was coming, but it was still a nice tense moment. And then later on, more tension without giving too much away, you know, was still building up and it was nice to see finally that breaking point, you know? I thought this film had excellent cinematography. Everything in general from the wrapper through the second short, everything was shot really, really well. They had some really cool sweeping shots, just a lot of really small things like little dolly moves that really enhance the production value of this. Everything just seemed of quality. The lighting really set the mood for each film, especially in the second one, Slit. I absolutely loved how they lit that film. It was really creepy and it made you pull back a little because it was so intense. This is Slit, very different than the first one. This one was, again, very intense, very like almost emotional, like raw. It was, a, it was a very interesting film. I absolutely love the story for Slit. The issues that were presented and how they closed this film with the character explaining why they cut. The fact that they brought that up in a horror film, I was just blown away how he took something that's in every day and presented it in the horror genre. I thought Colin Price, not the same Colin Price that appears often on our show, but the Colin Price that portrayed the Slitter, I thought he did a fantastic job. He was very realistic, given his profession of going to people's houses and cutting them. I, I thought he did a great job. I liked one of the trailers specifically for Night Clown. Robert Nolan, we've seen him in a ton of stuff, Silent Retreat, sick, but he looks fucking badass as a clown. I just want this to exist because it just looked awesome. What don't we like about this movie, guys? I think one of my biggest issues was with the rapper. Well, it was probably my favorite part of the whole movie. I think it got too emotional for the satirical style of film it was originally. After you watch the two shorts, which were complete stories on itself, you kind of want to start walking away. But instead we had what felt like another half hour tagged on to the end. One of my dislikes was the acting actually. My major complaint was with Dinner for Monsters. I felt it was a little too overacted. I understand that maybe they're doing it because it's that type of movie, but it didn't feel as natural to me as I would have liked it to be. I felt the development of the story was its weakest point. Everything just seems rushed and forced. There's no time for us to digest what's going on. Like it's a really good idea for a story, but I think it would actually work better as a full length. There's a lot of like philosophies to be explored there. There's a lot of more reaction times. And this is rare that I'm asking for a movie to be longer, but like I think this one would work as 
has its own full-length movie. In general, I thought the sound wasn't that great. It's one of these films where you have to rock on your remote to make sure, okay, I need to turn it up at this point. Oh, I need to turn it down. I thought at first it was because the different shorts had different volumes, but that wasn't the case. I don't think anybody really nailed their sound. And I think their sound effects were also very misplaced. Specifically in Dinner for Monsters, the sound effects were just very off. The the thing with sound effects is that you, you can't notice sound effects, otherwise it takes you out of the movie. So it's like a thankless job, right? <laughs> they have to put in this work, but if I know there's a sound effect there, then there's something wrong. And even in Slit, I felt the music was way too loud for when they're trying to deliver their lines. It seems like everything needed to go down about two decibels and mm -hmm. it probably would have been peachy. It's time for our final thoughts and ratings. I felt that this film really nailed its points. I really liked Slit. The story was awesome. It was shot nicely. The rapper was entertaining and Dinner for Monsters. I love the acting in it. To me, the story felt rushed and it kind of took me away from it. Overall, I really enjoyed this anthology. It was a good film from start to end. So that being said, I'm going to give this film four Greekless Greek salads out of five. I think the individual pieces were better than the whole. I feel like there was more to be explored in the individual stories than as an anthology. I wasn't invested in any of the characters because of the anthology. I do appreciate that they pulled it off and did have some cohesion with the rapper, with the two movies, and some interesting characters that I do actually want to see more of. So I'm gonna give this movie three pizzas and I don't give a fuck what's on them out of five. This was a decent anthology. I'm not a big fan of anthologies in general, but I thought this was shot really well. I thought the lighting was well done. Most of the stories were pretty good. I just wish that there was a lot more development in all of them. And maybe that's because I don't watch a lot of short films and I don't watch a lot of anthologies. I just feel I needed to be more invested in the characters and the situations to really like them. I'm gonna give this two and a half last calls out of five. As always, thank you for watching like this video, and if you get a chance to see this, check it out. What's your favorite anthology film? I think mine's definitely Trick or Treat. I got Tales from the Hood. I don't have one. So the rest of you, let us know. If this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe to the channel to stay updated with all of our horror reviews and our games of What Would You Do?